Next up, we've got Keen Home and uh, presenting our Ryan Fant and Naeem Hussein. A little bit forward of the X. My name's Ryan Fant. And I'm Naeem Hussein, and we're the founders of Keen Home. Now, by a quick show of hands, how many of you are familiar with this product? You can go ahead, you can answer. <laughs> All right, almost everybody, but for those of you who aren't, this is a home air vent. It can be found on the floors, walls, and ceilings of 97 million homes across the United States with a central heating or cooling system, often referred to as an HVAC system. Now keep in mind these were designed over 60 years ago based on the type of construction materials and insulation available at the time. Now the average US household spends 50% of their home energy bill on heating or cooling, or about $2,000 per year. The same household has an average of two to four rooms that are overheated or overcooled at various times. This is not only uncomfortable, but terribly energy inefficient. Think about it, do you need your dining room or home office kept at the same temperature as your bedroom when you're sleeping at night? Of course not. Now up until now, innovation has been focused on thermostat technology, but that is only part of the solution. Now these insights lead to our opportunity, which is to provide a product, yes a product, to people with central HVAC systems that, is that can intelligently redirect airflow throughout their home that is both simple to install and easy to use. So today we unveil the Keen Vent. The Keen Vent is a wirelessly networked home air vent that maximizes the comfort and efficiency of a home's central heating or cooling system by automatically redirecting the air generated by the central HVAC unit. Now, keen vents are placed in rooms throughout the home that are unoccupied for large portions of the day, like bedrooms, dining rooms, dens, and home offices. The average sized home will need four keen vents to optimize its existing HVAC system. Now, our product is easily user installed the user simply removes the existing vent from the duct opening and inserts the keen vent in its place. Once the keen vents are inserted, the user browses to our website, mykeenhome.com, to create a user account to set up their vent system. Now we realize users will not want to manually program each vent. If you take programmable thermostats, for instance, it's estimated that over 89% are not programmed correctly, if at all. So that's why we've created the lifestyle survey. Customers will complete this short questionnaire with details about their home and habits when they initially set up their user account. Now these inputs will allow us to program each individual event's opening and closing schedule or smart cycle and have the system up and running in minutes. This online account also allows us to build a long-term relationship with our customers. For example, if severe weather were forecasted for one of our customers' homes, we would send an alert to their mobile device and recommend a one-time change to their event schedule to counteract the effects of this severe weather. This is just one of the services that Keen Home will provide to its customers. Now the benefits of this smart cycle that Ryan spoke of are twofold. One, it eliminates uncomfortable hot or cold spots throughout the home. And more importantly, it reduces the HVAC system runtime needed to reach the desired temperature. Now, our efficiency studies show that the Keen Vent system of four vents reduces HVAC runtimes by up to 30%. Now we will require the help of many partners to bring the Keen Vent to market. Initially, we will leverage e-commerce partnerships to sell the Keen Vent directly to consumers via the web. And after gaining an initial level of traction, we will transition to sell the product through traditional retail outlets like Lowe's and Home Depot. But more importantly, at the same time, we will partner with home builders, HVAC suppliers, and utility companies to sell the Keen Vent to their customers with some form of subsidy. Companies like Nest and ThinkEco have shown the utility companies are looking for energy efficiency products that help them with their peak load management initiatives. Building these relationships will help Keen Home establish itself in the home automation market. So who are our customers? Anyone with a home internet connection and central heating or cooling can benefit from the Keen Vent system. Taking a cross section of these populations yields at least 40 million homes. Now we will manufacture the first batch of Keen Vents right here in New York and sell them using two models. A four Keen Vent system will be sold for $25 with a $4 monthly service fee. And that's for our smart cycle programming and management as well as our push notifications. This is our subscription model. 
The same four vent system will be sold for $150 with no monthly service fee in what we call our lifetime model. We will also sell non-networked matching vents so a customer can maintain a uniform aesthetic throughout all the vents in their home. Going back to the $2,000 spent annually on home heating and cooling, using a four key vent system will yield average uh, annual savings for our customers of $150 to $300, making it an extremely enticing value proposition. So today we're extremely excited to announce that we're beginning to take pre-orders for the Keenvent system in partnership with Indiegogo, the most expansive cloud funding uh, platform available. Uh, the campaign is live actually starting today, and if you go to indiegogo.com slash projects slash Keenvent, you can see and then contribute to the campaign. So you can see there are a few home products that we feel are as outdated and uninspiring as the air vent. Keen Home brings seamless automation and refreshed design to a cliched product that is ripe for disruption. Thank you. So I have a question just so I understand how it works a little better. So it seems like it closes off the vent if, it, if the room is getting too hot or cold, right? Yep. So how does the heating system know not to just keep cranking? What's the feedback mechanism to like turn the thermostat down, or, you know, turn, because you have to control the thermostat eventually, right? Well, so essentially what we're trying to do is we're putting these in rooms that are unused for portions of the day, effectively reducing the square footage of the home that needs to be heated to that point. So if you think about it, you have your bedroom and you close off that vent, that air just gets pushed to the area of the home where the uh, thermostat is usually located. 90% of thermostats are centrally located in a home. Mm -hmm. So it's just redirecting that air and therefore shutting down your furnace earlier. So when you close out vents in unused rooms, that air is being redistributed and, you're, and the square footage of your home is being So smart. the unused thing, is this like a motion detector or something then? I mean, or is it just that's where you stick the ones that are not used? I don't, I'm not sure I totally understand that. So sure, that, that uh, lifestyle survey, it's 12 to 15 questions and we gather from that information enough to be able to program the vents opening and closing schedule okay. so that that's how we know. There, there won't be any motion uh, sensors in the initial iterations of the product just because due to cost. Okay. But that would be something you do eventually? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. What were you guys doing before this? Sure. I, have a, I was consulting in manufacturing and distribution environments, as well, and I have a Six Sigma black belt. Um, for the past year, I've actually been doing investment banking, though, so a little bit of everything. <laughs> and I was in corporate finance for a large tech company, and I started my own real estate investment company. So um, how would my mom in Greece, you know, like install the whole, you know, system? It's a little bit tricky, you know, like, requires a hardware piece, some manual labor, uh, computer networking thing. Yeah, what? we definitely have tried to make it as simple as possible. I mean, literally you saw removing the vent and installing it, that's pretty simple. You, and going onto the website, and you know, there'll be a code similar to a product like the Nest where you enter your code so it knows what's going on. You'll answer those 12 questions and it basically set it and forget it. The, the system will then be up and running. There are ways to obviously tweak it you can uh, increase the efficiency of it, but ultimately that is enough information to get the system up and running and increasing the efficiency. It'll be How long does it take to do the whole process? Minutes. Five to ten minutes. I mean, it, it, if you have 20-foot ceilings, then it might take longer, but we're, we're, we're partnering with uh, HVAC contractors as, as a referral program for instances like that. But if you have regular height ceilings, you're just swapping out vents, maybe unscrewing or popping it in, depending mm -hmm. on how your vents are inserted. You're essentially linking them to the Internet answering a few questions and pretty seamless. What do you think are the biggest barriers to succeeding in this market? Sure, well, it's, you, it, we're a very small company and there are companies like Honeywell and Train or Nest even that could try to duplicate this, but that we're really putting an emphasis on building those partnerships with home builders and energy companies because we feel like that creates a really uh, strong defensible position for the product as we grow. So from a strategic standpoint, why did you guys decide to go with this, you know, piece of the home automation uh, first, do you think that it's a more, you know, strategic point than what Nest is trying to do with the thermostat? Well, we kind of feel that one of the one of the issues with a lot of home automation products is there's a high barrier to entry. There's whether it's a strong upfront cost or just a very complicated system to use. So this really complements a system like the Nest or your your own programmable thermostat really well. It, it, it creates almost like individual zones throughout the home. The, the, the idea was uh, generated. I was actually sleeping one night and had an air vent that was just blowing hot air on me and I had my phone sitting next to me and I said, I, there's no reason why I can't use my phone to close off that vent for an hour and uh, two hours. And then from there we performed those tests and said, all right, if we have four of these vents that are kind of smart throughout the home 
and those, those generated those really staggering results of reducing run times by almost 30%. I mean, and ideally, we're, we're going to develop traction with the tech, techie market, but the majority of people we're going to be selling this to probably won't know what home automation is. And, and we think that's a beautiful thing in that our product is quite simple to understand, and the savings are very simple to understand when you're saving a good amount of money on your energy bill. Um, so we're really trying to make it a mainstream product, reduce that barrier to entry. That's why we, we like both of our models. Essentially develop a large user base, get a monthly recurring revenue, um, and the savings will speak for themselves. Does the vent know what the temperature is, where it is? Yeah. Okay, so There's it does. A temperature so, sensor in it. Okay, that was part of my question too. Okay, mm -hmm. so so right now it seems like the way most heating is set up, you've got a thermostat someplace, which is the, what drives the thing, mm -hmm. but it's blowing heat or cold air into places where it just doesn't know what the temperature. Okay. Right. Cool. Mm -hmm. So when is the right time to get hold of the customer when they're constructing a new house, when it's renovation, or when they receive like a huge bill when, when, when is the any, ideal? Any bill? of those times would be, I mean, the, the largest market is obviously the retrofit market, so replacing existing air vents with, that's the 97 million homes, but there's about 400,000 new homes being constructed every year with HVAC systems, um, and then renovation-wise, there's a few million a year being renovated. And, and partnering with HVAC installers, if they're coming in and doing a vent cleaning or doing a checkup, and we're able to almost give the product away to them and, say, and give them a two or three month trial of the service, and get them hooked, and that way we can, once again, breaking down those barriers to entry for, for new customers into home automation. I see. Cool. How long you guys, do you guys can, last? You guys want to yeah. yeah. check it out? It's actually a piece of hardware today, so you can. Super heavy, man. Yeah. And I can just do it again. I just have a little app that I can yeah, open we can, and close We can it. open and close it. There you go. Nice. Do you Pretty know cool. if these things will ever break? Like, will the hardware, you know, like the springs? It's or all part of the development process, obviously. Um, this, is, this was actually done using a 3D printer. We'll be using uh, polycarbonate awesome. in the, uh, the final product. How long does the battery last? So we're, we're aiming to make sure that the battery life lasts at least one year. Open so is it going to be as no obnoxious as like a, a fire, fire, fire alarm detector sort of beeping or whatever? Smoke we we Smoke hope not. We're looking at also technologies leveraging. You're obviously moving air through the ductwork, so you're utilizing turbines to power capacitors or rechargeable batteries. So there's a couple different avenues that we're exploring. If, cool. if it were to die, would it just it would act as if it would just were become a, a regular event. just as a regular event. Do, do you do anything to keep track of the savings derived from the product? Any analytics? No, on that's it? part of the value we're providing with that monthly with that monthly four dollar monthly fee. It's essentially a dollar per event. So that's that's the, the value providing proposition it, that we're monthly or quarterly usage reports, trending, showing them how they're doing compared to other customers in their area as well. So have you guys gotten any interest from the um, like you know I'm in San Francisco with PG&E or those kinds of places. I mean they they seem like they're doing similar kinds of stuff with like refrigerators and you know whatever. Have you gotten any interest or traction from people that are recommending putting these kinds of vents in? Yeah, we've definitely been talking with the large uh, energy companies here in the New York City metro area <clears throat> and are planning on reaching out. As soon as we kind of found out about this, we started pulling back on reaching out to new potential companies, but a company like Reliant Energy in Texas is really forward thinking, and there's also some definitely in the California area. Certainly San Francisco has. Yeah. Especially when you're looking at like peak load stuff, you know, yep. it's really a huge issue in yep. certain places. Exactly. So definitely like here and certainly in, on the West Coast. Yeah. So we're out of time, but that, that was great. That was Keen Home, very cool, or hot, whatever.